Hello, Lynn from Quality Exteriors. This is Joel from JND SEO. I'm going to show you three ways that you can improve your website and actually beat some of your competition online. At the end of the video, Lynn, if you guys have any questions or want to hear some more information, no problem. Let's set up a five minute phone call. If not, no big deal. Then I'm actually going to give you a ton of information for free in here. And you guys can go ahead and apply that directly to your site. Or if you guys have someone that works on your site, you could even show them as well. All right, so the three topics we'll cover today are content, backlinks, and citations. So we're going to start with just looking at your site here with content. And I want to look through and just kind of see you guys have a pretty good looking site. You've got your banner up here as well as your name very easily seen. Um, I would probably recommend, well, you do have your contact us, but maybe having your phone number up there. Um, you want to make it as easy as possible for people to just to kind of see all that. Um, and you guys do have a lot of your services list, listed, which is good. You've got some of the areas that you guys work, testimonials, service areas, that's good. All right, some awards as well, and articles and news, that's good. What Google really cares about the most, though, is all of this. They want to see all this content. Oh, hold on. <laughs> there we go, all of that, that's what I'm trying to do. All right, so let's see how much of that you guys have. How much content do you guys have? Let's just take a peek here. I'm going to throw it into my word counter, just get a little count here. All right, so you guys have just under 1,000. We have about 952 words here. Um, and I'm also actually going to show you one of the competitors because they're really doing a great job in the area. That's Nashville Roofing Company. Um, so I want to see what they have just to give you a comparison. I think you guys probably have more than them. But let's just see if I'm right about that. All right, let's see. All right, so if we put that in, they have 675. So yeah, you guys do have more content to them. And that's a good thing because the idea really being the three topics we are going to talk about today, you want to beat the top competitor, which happens to be Nashville Roofing Company, in all three areas that we're going to talk about. And if you do that, you should be able to beat them online as well. So we know that you already have more content. However, Google recommends having about 1,500 words to 2,000 words because that's going to optimize your site and that's going to allow Google to rank you higher. But you don't just want content. You want to make sure you have the keywords in there. So I've just used Roofing Nashville, Tennessee as an example. 100 people search this keyword every single month. And keywords are just a group of words that people search frequently online, especially like in a Google search bar, just like this. And this one, as you can tell, it's what new customers are searching. It doesn't have a specific company attached. So you want to be found for this. It's essentially new customers. All right, so we're going to skip down to the organic section here. And as you can see, we've got, we have a directory. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. And then we have Nashville Roofing Company, which is the top actual company showing up. So that's why we picked them. They're one of the top ones. And this is the organic section. You're going to get 10 results on each page of Google for this, just like you would in any search you do. You're going to get 10 results per page. So in order to get here, we need the 1,500, 2,000 words of content. We want to make sure we have our keywords on our site multiple times. And we also want to make sure that Google trusts us, right? So I've taken your website, qualityexteriors.com, plugged it into a program called Arifs that I pay for. It allows me just to kind of see how sites are performing. I see you've got your headers up here, which is a really good thing. This allows Google to find you a little bit easier. Then I want to talk about the numbers a little bit. So this is going to bring us to our second topic, which is backlinks. So backlinks and referring domains really go hand in hand. You have 499 backlinks on 150 websites or referring domains. Now, backlinks are just links that when you click them, it's going to redirect you back to your site, qualityexteriors.com. It doesn't have to be a link just like this. It could be a picture or a button as well that has the link embedded in it. A great example of all of this would be a Facebook business page. So if you guys have one, and you, and you very well may, then your Facebook business page for your company would be your referring domain, the sites that pointing back at yours. And then your backlink would just be on the Facebook page where it has your web address to link to your site. And you guys would put in your link like this, qualityexteriors.com. Now, when you click that link on your Facebook page, it's going to automatically open this site and redirect you back to qualityexteriors.com. So that is a backlink. And we can see right now that you guys, of the 150 websites pointing back at you, this is how Google learns to kind of trust your site because these sites are vouching for you. So of the 150 you have, 105 of them are actually strong sites, which is a really good 70 percentage there. That's nice. So because you have 105 good sites pointing back to you that are strong, 
it's going to give you a trust with Google of a 29, which is what this dial here is, and it can go all the way to 100. Because this is a 29, it's going to allow you to be found for about 144 keywords and searches. And these have to be on your page to begin with, but as long as they are, then they're going to start to show up here with the keywords. And these are what bring in the visitors, just like we did with our search, Roofing Nashville uh, TN there. And we can see that your keywords are bringing you about 69 actual visitors to your website every month. So I also want to compare you to Nashville Roofing because we want to, we want to see what they're doing in Beatum. That's the idea. And we can see they've got their headers up here. They have 206 backlinks on their 81 referring domains. 54 of their 81 websites pointing back at them are strong. So it's giving them a trust of a 26. And that 26 is allowing them to be found for about 123 keywords in searches. And they're being bringing in about 164 actual visitors to their website per month. Now you're probably thinking, all right, we have more of these. Why, why are they getting more, right? And a lot of it has to do with the ranking and the keywords. It could be that you guys just don't have enough keywords or the right ones in your content, or you may not have enough them in there often enough. Adding content is one way that we talked about will help a lot to help to rank some of those. Um, but the other big thing is their referring domains, even if they have less, they might just be more powerful than the ones you guys have. And so what we could actually do, and this is, this is pretty cool, we can click their referring domains and look at all the websites that are referring to them and linked to their site. And we could actually go through, pick out the strongest ones. We can go to those sites and a lot of them we can actually make a profile for, enter your information or you guys can enter your information and you would be able to get that site as essentially linking back to you by making a profile. Sometimes you do have to pay a membership fee, but a lot of times it actually don't cost anything and you're able to get the same ones. And obviously it wouldn't be enough just to tie them. We want to beat them, right? So we would do that and then we'd add more on top of that, right? And the idea being then we would get, we would, should see similar results as long as we have the keywords on our page, but we would be able to get ahead of them. So then we'd be ahead of them in this, um, in you know the backlinks, referring domains, which is gonna bring you those visitors also. And we would also be ahead of them already with our content. We'd have 15 to 200, 2,000 words, 1,500 to 2,000 words with the keywords in there, the top ones. And then there's other options too, right? So then we also have ads. If you guys wanted to pay for them, you would just have to outbid these three in order to get up there. And you'd be the first thing that new customers see. But then I also want to talk about the map section. This brings us to our third topic, which is citations. And the way to get in this map section or GMB, um, Google My Business, also called, the top three show up on this little preview window on the main search page. And this is the second thing that new customers would see. And they're going to catch 30% of the total volume. So they're going to get... 30 of the 100 people that come through are going to be found by these top three in the map section. And the way to get on here is through citations. That's just when you get your business name, address, and phone number all listed together into a directory site. These are sites like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Home Advisor. Um, could also be your Facebook, LinkedIn as well, your social media sites. And you can see they've got their, their uh, phone numbers right here so they can get direct calls also the website and they're going to get clicks there. So just to recap, to get your citations, if they had a 20 to 30, we're going to want about 130. We want to beat them by a lot to really get ahead of them so they can't catch us. But you're going to want to get citations in there by linking other sites to yours that point back, such as directories and social media. And to get in the organic section and to get in the top spot there, or at least top three, we're going to need to make sure we have 1,500 words to 2,000 words of content on our page. We're going to make sure we have those keywords in the content. And then we're going to make sure that Google trusts us by making sure we have plenty of backlinks and referring domains pointing back to our website, which is going to build our trust with Google. And then they're going to rank us higher to get on this top 10. And we're going to beat our competitors with all of those. All right. Thank you guys for your time. I will just give you a call in a day or two just to follow up and see if this was helpful for you. But thank you again and have a great day.